So what's good TMG fam, it's your boy Ellen, I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel, Salute Man. And we are back to check out some of these river monsters and river mysteries that some scientists can't explain. Or pretty much no scientists can explain. Alright, so we're going to check this video out, man. If you knew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, join the family, and let's check it out. Impossible as it sounds. This is a carryover of something that should have been dead 65 million years ago. Whoa, this is so weird. Oh, that. God. Well, the ocean is so bizarre in, in and of itself. There's just so many weird creatures so in the ocean. It's such an alien environment to us. Grab her head! Grab her head! Yes! You got it! Hold her! Hold her! Hold her! Hold her! You got it! You got it! Can't say it no better than that. It's such an alien environment. That's what I feel like. When I look at some of these river monsters or creatures of the ocean, all this type, yeah. Alien environment, perfect. And now an unknown scary creature in Fort Smith. Whatever it was, it's so big and so scary, a Fall River couple thought they were going to die. It's the Loch Ness Monster! It's actually a coincidence that this fish has a frowning face and also had its worst day possible. A newbie fisherman off the shores of Thailand captured this fish that left him startled by its nature. It had a huge, human-like frowning face with large, bulging eyes, broad in the front and slim around its tail. Fishes of this kind usually bury themselves in the sand, while their jaws face outside the sand, waiting for a small fish to come nearby, only to capture them. It measured to be 42 centimeters in length and stood at 2.7 kilos in weight. Possible Loch Ness sighting. Although the existence of Loch Ness Monster is believed to be nothing but fiction, instances like these challenge that notion. A resident in London filmed and shared this old footage, showing the appearance of a gigantic marine creature who suddenly appeared floating on the surface. Despite it being filmed during broad daylight, the bystander wasn't able to get a good capture of it on camera due to the distance and also the powerful wind at the time of sighting. I don't know what it is, but I don't have the strong conviction in Nessie that Nessie exists. I don't know why. When it comes to Nessie, I'll be like, oh, okay. I don't have that conviction that I do for certain other species. Megalodon. You know what I mean? The Kraken, maybe, possibly. Like, Nessie is at the bottom of the list for me. Not ruling it out, but it, it don't rank high for me for some reason. Goliath Tigerfish. Oh, a fresh water this thing. Sharks, gators, and crocodiles may have garnered the fear attention until you find large, scaly fishes like these. Jeremy Wade, the popular presenter, was looking to find and catch a Goliath tiger fish, which, after doing so with the help of locals, wanted to examine it closely before releasing it. Seeing how massive it was in size, the locals didn't want to let this large prize go. The Goliath tigerfish is an African freshwater fish, best known for its humongous size and razor-sharp teeth. Nah, those teeth! Which help it take down larger fish and even some gators. Now that's definitely one fish to stay far, far away from. Leaping Loch Ness. The discovery of a Loch Ness monster is something many would never believe until they saw it for themselves. A boater from Oman on a casual trip in the open sea captured a moment on camera when a large, unfamiliar creature was seen jumping in and out of the water. It had a mammal-like tail, huge turtle-like limbs on the sides, and a long, narrow neck. Intriguing, marine biologists later found and presented the bony remains of a juvenile Loch Ness creature, adding credibility to the sighting. Giant River Gar. Look at this, giant, no way, it's bigger than me. In Texas, 2000- That's why I don't see how people go in murky water and just be swimming in it or 
or noodling or or fishing and just be all in the water. You couldn't even see that joker. He was so disguised in that murky water. 22, a couple of anglers set out with hopes of landing something big. After hours of waiting and struggling, they finally reeled in a magnificent and rare giant alligator guard. This is the biggest alligator guard. Bigger than the angler himself. With its sharp teeth and huge mouth, this fish provided a thrilling experience. Alligator gars, while impressive, are generally not dangerous to humans unless provoked or disturbed in their territory. The specimen these anglers caught was over seven feet long. Woohoo! Seven, two and a half! Yes, sir! After measuring it, they released the massive fish back into the water, preserving its place in the ecosystem. Monster sized anaconda. Look at the size of the animal. Easily 300 pounds. A group of researchers encountered something so enormous that it terrified the entire crew. The famous adventurer Forrest Galanti and his team came face to face with the largest anaconda anyone had ever seen. Despite meticulous planning, everything went horribly wrong. Her head's up here. Her head's up here. Hold her. Hold her. After a great deal of struggle, they managed to capture this very large river monster. We got her, guys. We're doing it. We are doing it. Be gentle on her neck. But it took the combined strength of everyone on the team to lift it, measuring an astounding 19 feet long and weighing 300 pounds. Look at the size of the animal. Easily 300 pounds. It was a thrilling and unbelievable sight. As big as it was, it is almost a blessing that most anacondas are not usually hostile until provoked. Mysterious. If you happen to provoke that joker right there, ain't nothing you could do about it, bro. He wrapped you up, 300 pounds, plus the, the, the force of the squeeze, man, it's over for you. Serious swimming creature. Although this partially matches the description of a snake, while at the same time, it clearly looks to be something else. An explorer was looking around in the area before prepping for a boating trip in the Amazon River, when he noticed the sudden appearance of a really long creature that appeared swimming within the shallow water. At first, he thought of it to be an anaconda, until it got closer and had second thoughts of it being an eel of some kind. When even the possibility of it being an eel didn't add up, he was finally convinced that this was something else completely. Rare species catch. All right, I got one. That's a good one. A family went to the beach for a fishing trip, where, aside from catching some regular bass fish, the man was able to catch a viper moray eel. Viper moray eels are considered rare and are not commonly encountered due to their elusive nature, nocturnal habitats, and preference for deep reef habitats in the Indo-Pacific region. Their striking appearance and rarity make sightings noteworthy among divers and marine biologists, which is what made this catch quite special. Yeah. You want to cook it and eat it? All right. I'm so blown away. I can't believe we already got an eel. <laughs> These eels are known for their sharp teeth and menacing appearance, and they can grow up to two meters long. Oh, that's the same one we caught last time. River Serpent. A visit to the Ranco Lake in Chile took an unexpected twist when the recorder noticed a rather strange animal roaming in the water. And this thing looked like a large serpent, but bigger than your usual snake. Some of the viewers even classified it to be related to the prehistoric dinosaur era, even though they are known to have gone extinct millions of years prior. With the Ranco Lake being 650 feet deep and the climate of this area not suitable to host any seals, crocodiles, or alligators, what could this thing be? So far, that remains a mystery. Out of the Ordinary a fish like this is either a case of severe mutation or a species that is quite rare to be seen. Fishermen from Bangalore found this unusual fish in their catch, which got them quite curious about its nature. It had a bird-like head that was protruding out of its body, which gave everyone the vibe of this marine animal either being mutated or having some type of deformation. Despite the fishermen having several years of being in the fishing business, they'd never seen such a catch before. Hi, y'all getting a first-hand witness of what, what scientists' capabilities are. 
when they get some of these fish in a laboratory and start experimenting. You're getting a first hand witness view up close and personal. Fluorescent mystery. While fishing in Gaston County, North Carolina, a group of fishermen spotted a strange sight, a fluorescent bluefish swimming in the river. Its identity was unknown, and its coloration was a mystery. Was it the result of a mutation or a new species? No one had the answer. The fish, measuring four feet and weighing 30 pounds, resembled a carp, but its unique blue color cast doubt on this theory. Some speculated it might be a rainbow trout with a rare genetic variant, but this was also unlikely. The fish's one in a million coloration left everyone puzzled and intrigued. Large eelfish. Regardless if this was just an eel, a fish, or both, it was a bit too large for any of these marine species. An unknown angler shared this really odd footage moments after he reeled out a large catch that he was trying to recognize soon after. It was placed on the grass far enough from the water to avoid it from escaping. It had a dark colored texture with a huge mouth and a shapeless form less like a fish and more like an eel. The best guess for this marine animal is that it could be a wolf eelfish. Python entanglement. Of all the sea life these fishermen expected to catch, finding a python was definitely unexpected. In Kerala, India, a fisherman discovered a python trapped in a forgotten fishing net near a river. It wasn't just a single net, but a cluster of entangled nets, making the rescue even more challenging. As a crowd gathered, several men held the struggling python down until they could cut the nets apart. Once freed, the python was safely taken into the wild and released. Cyclops albino shark. We had cut her up and found that inside was a shark with one eye. We'd never seen anything like that before. Discoveries like these only revalidate the worst fears of sharks to another level. This Cyclops albino shark was another extremely rare catch made by a Mexican fisherman while fishing in the Sea of Cortez. He first had a pregnant shark get caught up in his fishing line, which, in a struggle of reeling, got torn up, leaving only this little anomaly behind. In the trap was a big shark, and inside were her young. This weird-looking shark had only a single eye on its front. According to marine biologists, this discovery is the first of its kind and has also been officially verified. It's a cyclops shark. It's an exceptional case because there have never been international reports about a shark that has these features. Its condition isn't believed to be deformation, but rather a mutation, with the blame made on the rapid increase of pollution in our seas. I ain't gonna lie, that fish kind of looked like it could be an underwater drone. It kind of looked like that one eye could be a camera. Mm-hmm. I don't know why that popped in my head today. I've seen that fish before, but today, for some reason, I felt like that could be some type of spy-like device or maybe a drone. I don't know. Just another theory to add to it. That's all. That's all. Sonam fish. Just when you'd think to have found the weirdest known fish, it only gets even weirder. In June 2019, a video emerged on social media, which soon went viral. It showed an incredibly bizarre and creepy looking fish caught just off the Chinese coast that had a human-like face with the oddest of expressions and a dark brown body color. Many of the viewers compared it with Thomas the Train, pointing out a very close resemblance completely out of coincidence. The origins and current location of the fish are unfortunately unknown, as the video's source remains anonymous. The nature of this fish would make one lose their appetite just by having a look at it. Baggy Tooth Mystery it's not just the teeth, but the completely odd-looking nature of this fish that leaves everyone curious. A video that was uploaded on YouTube by an unnamed source shows a large and very unusual-looking fish with massive, baggy teeth. The fish had a visibly large bulge over the top of its upper jaw. The species is unidentifiable, and it also has these underlying body features, which only leaves everyone more curious about if these are actually a rare kind or just a deformed species. Unlikable fish remains. 
Initially, this may seem more like a hand than a fish. An unknown source was passing through muddy terrain and had his attention grabbed by this unlikable looking fish head lying on the mud, with its back either torn or decaying, in a manner that it almost looked to be in the shape of fingers. No one knows as to what this was or what happened here, but this is the weirdest discovery so far. Freddy Krueger fish. In December 2020, villagers in Krabi, Thailand were horrified when a fisherman caught an unusual fish that resembled the horror film character Freddy Krueger. The fisherman discovered the strange-looking fish in brackish water near the sea in Krabi province. Initially mistaking it for muddy leaves, he was startled by its black pellet-shaped eyes and its appearance, which almost resembled an angry man's face with gnarled skin and threatening eyes. Carefully separating the deformed fish from the others, he placed it in a special basket and hurried home. Excited, he showed the peculiar catch to his friends, sparking terror among villagers who couldn't believe a fish could resemble the character from a horror movie. Unknown Marine Animal Feast Hello, mm. Normally, most of us would be trying to identify- He know that don't taste good. I don't care how you play it up and dress it up to the public. That don't taste like you making it seem, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Stop trying to. Uh, no, no. We're not going. We're not going for that. No, we're not going for. It. Mm -mm, no. Ew. That that didn't taste good at all. Stop it. Identify the nature of this marine anomaly. But this guy was starving and didn't care. Footage shared by Philippine campers showed a strange-looking creature from a nearby river. Instead of being curious about its nature and trying to figure out what kind of marine animal or species this was. They went ahead with having it for their lunch. They immediately started boiling the carcass of this marine anomaly shortly before chomping down on it as if it were any other regular catch. Headless and in motion. Even though there's no such thing as zombies, this fish still seems to be in motion like nothing was wrong. This pleco fish was found with its head cleanly chopped off, but it was swimming calmly in some unknown pond. It created a spectacle that seemed perfectly like a scene from a horror movie. The bystander was so shocked by this that he poked the fish to check if it was even real. According to some theories, since fishes are cold-blooded, their muscle memory still tends to last quite long, even after the fishes consciously expire. Marine Anomaly Surfacing it's not just the open waters where the weird creatures pop out, but often in places you'd least expect. A group of explorers were going through a cave on an island, where, within the water, they noticed this bizarre marine anomaly that surfaced for a couple of seconds, followed by a loud screeching before dipping back into the water. From its bodily nature and the very sound that it made, both took it from this being just another unidentifiable mystery to one that terrified them while at the same time made them quite curious. Mysterious Sturdy Remains By the very rocky nature of its skin, there's no way this could be anything like a whale. On July 25th, 2014, the Iranian Navy released a video of a gigantic, mysterious carcass floating off the coast of Busha in western Iran on the Persian Gulf. The thick, blackened skin led marine biologists to believe it was the remains of a very large crocodile. However, locals speculated it resembled a prehistoric marine giant from the dinosaur era. The true nature of the carcass was never investigated and remains a mystery. Giant Arapaima Catch when it comes to large marine animals, it's not just the sharks or whales, but giant fishes like this arapaima as well. Back in September 2018, villagers in Kerala were called in for help by a local fisherman who had reeled out a gigantic arapaima. It was quite lengthy and heavy, so assistance of several grown adults was needed to carry it from the river towards the village fish market. Even though the details of its length, weight, or worth are not known, it clearly looks to have enough meat to feed a large group of people easily. Shark in River First the gigantic arapaima, and now sharks? 
it seems Rivers might not be as safe as once perceived. This footage from November 2016 shows an appearance of a shark by a narrow river in a village in Kerala that soon gathered a crowd of locals. This rare occurrence has left locals, viewers, and even the most knowledgeable marine biologists scratching their heads. What's even more shocking about this shark is not just how it ended up here, but how it managed to survive in fresh water. Rumors started to spread around that the shark may have accidentally lost its way from the Indian Ocean and ended up in the river. Giant Siamese Carp Two young fishermen in Thailand were able to not only find, but also capture this one large and very rare Siamese carp fish. After hooking a large bait, they were able to lure out the giant carp that left them baffled by its size. The Siamese carp, or giant barb, is one of the largest and rarest carp species native to Southeast Asia's Mekong and Chow Phraya basins. It can grow up to 300 kilograms and over 10 feet 3 meters long. Due to overfishing and habitat destruction, it's critically endangered and now rare. Conservation efforts are ongoing to protect this impressive species and its natural habitats. Shallow Water Mermaid Seems like the discoveries that are being made in the water are only turning more and more bizarre. An angler near the Malaysian coast of Sarawak was heading out for open waters just when he noticed a mermaid swimming in the shallow water. Instead of pursuing his initial plans, he decided to stick around and follow the mermaid out of complete curiosity and surprise. After following it around for nearly an hour, the mermaid spotted him despite the distance and immediately sought to hide by jumping into deeper water. Giant Rare Sturgeon a fisherman in northeast China experienced a once-in-a-lifetime moment when he hauled in a 514-kilogram endangered Kaluga sturgeon, estimated to be nearly a century old. This Ain't no way he pulled that in off like a, a reel. He had to do that through a net. Ain't no way he, he reeled that in. That bad boy would have pulled him in the water, fam. That, that thing's too big. What are they feeding the fish out there that they're that big, fam? You, you can't tell me otherwise. What is that? That is an alien. Big monster linebacker fish. This remarkable catch occurred in the Heilongjiang River near Fuyan in Heilongjiang province. Recognizing the need to preserve this critically endangered species, a local government bureau purchased the colossal fish for $31,000. Measuring 3.59 meters in length, the sturgeon will be used for artificial breeding efforts to help safeguard its dwindling population, which has been threatened by overfishing due to the high demand for its caviar. Goliath Giant Removed Regardless of how big and strong a marine animal might be, there's nothing within the seas that can't be pulled out. A huge Goliath grouper was found washed up on a beach along the Florida coastline, accompanied by numerous smaller fish. While the smaller fish were handpicked, a special excavator was called in to remove the massive grouper. The cause of this marine nightmare was a red tide, a harmful sea algae bloom lethal to most marine life. Beachgoers found the washed-up giant fascinating despite its nightmarish appearance. It was sad to see such a massive fish go to waste due to the red tide. Tired Crocodile Clearly, this must have happened by an accident, though at the same time looks to have grown on the crocodile. While fishing, an Indonesian fisherman spotted this female saltwater crocodile in 2016 in the city of Palu, who had a tire stuck around its neck. As this crocodile started to catch mainstream attention, locals started referring to it as Buaya Kalongban, which means crocodile with a tire necklace. Details of how the tire got stuck on the crocodile in the first place were unclear. However, after six years in 2022, this large crocodile was finally freed. Swimming. He lucky he got y'all, because if it was left up to me, he'd have wore that bad boy the rest of his life. Like a necklace. He that'd have been his permanent necklace until his neck got too big in it. It took him out of here. <laughs> I, I knew. Nah. No, nope, that'd have been that'd have been his piece of jewelry. River giant. 
By the first glance at this giant monster mystery itself, you can know it's no whale. Crewmen of a ferry transport boat in China noticed the sudden appearance of a gigantic crocodile-like creature that was swimming not too far from them while making their routine routes. Just by its massive size, it was clear that this couldn't possibly be any crocodile or alligator, but a rare appearance of a prehistoric giant. With most of its body underwater, it was hard to tell or even get a good look at this monster, which the witnesses are certain to be a reptile of some kind. Prehistoric Tusks Imagine throwing out a fishing line for some cod and reeling in a creature dating back a few million years. This happened to a group of Yakut fishermen in Siberia, when their casual day fishing turned into a lottery fight. A mammoth tusk emerged after a heat wave melted parts of the permafrost, revealing something frozen for millions of years. The villagers only had small boats, making it a challenge to reel in the tusk without toppling. Despite the freezing water, they hooked it with another line and gradually brought it up, balancing it inside. The tusk was either given to the government or auctioned to a private foundation, making the fishermen a few thousand dollars richer. Queen of the Ocean It's not just the size or weight that makes this shark remarkable. It's also its status as the top of the Great White Family Tree. On October 20th, 2020, a team of researchers from the O-Search Group encountered a 50-year-old 3,500-pound Great White Shark off the coast of Nova Scotia to help the species thrive and maintain the marine ecosystem they studied this shark, named Nukumi, to gather clues about its behavior and breeding patterns, noting its many battle scars. After tagging and taking blood samples, the team released Nukumi back into the water. Fishing Anaconda Fishing for an anaconda sounds crazy, right? But watch this. A wildlife explorer, along with some local companions, set up a trap using a fishing net to entangle an anaconda. When they sensed movement in the net, the group approached, and the explorer immediately restrained the large reptile by its mouth with his bare hands to avoid any risk. After closely examining the anaconda and considering the safety of his companions, the explorer decided to release it much further away from the nearest village, rather than putting it down. lucky <sighs> Oldest river fish. Color. I know. Look at the scoots and the patterns. And Imagine having to pull out a fish that is so old that no one expected for anything like it to exist. This giant river dweller is probably a white sturgeon, although you're welcome to suggest otherwise. It was caught by a group of recreational anglers who were out on a trip. And uh, helps make management decisions on the species. This catch, which left them all baffled, measured 97 and a half inches, sending shivers of joy down their spines with its huge size, tough scales, and ancient air. And when it peers out of the water, Jeez, it's like you're looking at an ancient ghost. Woo! We did it, man. Troubled anaconda. Anacondas are among the largest snakes on Earth, but even they can bite off more than they can chew. These cops encountered a bloated anaconda stuck in the bushes, its massive bulge indicating a gigantic meal. Using a spade, they freed the reptile, which swam away to digest its meal in peace. <laughs> Similarly, a fisherman found an anaconda in a similar condition and instantly regretted venturing into the river. No wonder the- It just looks miserable to be that full, bro. To be that, like, I've been that full before, eating too much. You know, kept eating knowing I was been full, but was still wanting to eat more and more. And then when you got done, you were miserable. That's what he looks like. That's what he looks like, fam. It looks like he needs to shed some skin so he can expand some more. I don't know what he needs to do. You know what I mean? When they tell you that when you're at a table, just unbuckle your belt and unbuckle your pants and let your belly hang out. Like, he needs some relief, man. Something. These snakes can chomp on anything. 
Barriga cheia. Wiggling blob creature. If you have seen one of those blobs on the beach, this thing looks quite similar to it. A kayaker was passing through a swamp in Florida when he spotted this large unknown blob dipped in the water next to the riverbank. His first thoughts were it could be a bloated carcass of a decaying wild animal. But unlike the beach blob, it looked to be breathing, wiggling, and even partially moving. This proved it was something beyond a regular marine animal, but around the likes of a large river monster or anomaly. If you happen to know more, do share with us down in the comments. Fallen Cloudy Mystery With a look of the surroundings, it's safe to say that whatever this may be, it definitely isn't snow. Locals in a village in Mexico were startled to discover large heaps of white substance that most would call a cloud lying around all over a hilly valley and a nearby river. Theories started to flush around about its nature, being from chemical spillover, fallen clouds, hardened spider webs, even to some kind of alien pathogen. Bystanders, out of safety and concern, avoided having any direct contact, despite the sheer curiosity on their part. Massive Turtle in Trouble Just when you'd think a turtle of this size and color never existed, one left bystanders speechless. In June 2019, Indonesian villagers on Solor Island united to rescue a giant turtle ensnared in a fishing net. <laughs> Footage showed their collective efforts to free the distressed turtle. With care and determination, they liberated it and gently carried it to the shore. Once released, the grateful animal wasted no time returning to its natural habitat, swimming gracefully into the deep waters of the ocean. Whale shark caught accidentally. Fisher folk off the shores of Kalarawa, Sri Lanka, were beginning their routine day when their nets snagged something unexpected. Anticipation turned to astonishment as they struggled against an immense weight, initially thinking it was an unusually large catch. Instead, they found a mammoth whale shark, nearly 38 feet long and potentially over 4,000 kilograms, entangled in their nets. Knowing the shark's protected status and lack of commercial demand for its meat, the fishermen began efforts to safely release it. Their efforts were aided by the Wildlife Department and Sri Lankan Navy, who stepped in to help. Same net fishing. In December 2022, a clip surfaced showing Sri Lankan fishermen using a traditional same net method to catch fish, a technique passed down through generations. This method, highly effective for large catches, involves numerous fishermen setting up a wide net with both ends tied. As they pull the net towards the beach, they scoop up vast quantities of fish. With modern technology, tractors now assist the fishermen in pulling the net, making the process even more efficient. This blend of ancient practice and modern aid showcases the enduring legacy and adaptability of traditional fishing exercises. Shallow Water Dugong even though this may have been a marine animal, the actions of these men were nothing short of bullying. Footage captured on an Indonesian beach shows several men forcefully holding a dugong, either to pose for a selfie or to pull it out of the water. However, the dugong managed to break free from their- Hey, I wonder why these animals and creatures be attacking us. They're tired of us, sick of us. Like, we don't know when to stop, leave them alone. So every chance they get, it's retaliation. That's what it is. It's retaliation. They sick of us. Their grip and escape. <laughs> Known for their gentle and peaceful nature, dugongs can become quite aggressive if provoked. This incident highlights the importance of respecting marine life and their natural habitats. Elusive giant squid. Almost two decades ago, fishermen off the coast of Japan caught a three and a half meter giant squid weighing over 250 kilograms, found dead 500 meters deep. 
internationally renowned squid expert Dr. Steve O'Shea, known for chasing rare creatures, was invited to dissect the squid at Auckland's University of Technology. According to him, squids are an excellent barometer of environmental health. The squid was then preserved for New Zealand's natural history collection. This massive creature evokes the sea monster tales told by sailors for centuries, with its enormous tentacles inspiring awe and fear. Now it's time for today's open discussion. This picture and video was captured on September 10th, 2019, showing a large river monster that was seen by the banks of a river in an undisclosed location. This giant monster was clearly eyeing the recorder, who in a panic sped away to safety. Switching into hunting mode just by looking at you, no sane fisherman or boater would want to stick around and take the risk of being confronted by something like this.